Well, she also says the chamber is looking to have some sort of, you know, special eclipse event. Who wouldn't, right? Sure. Uh, but no details on what that would look like just yet. So, Matt, we're talking about across our area. Yeah. Who are the lucky few here? Uh, we're right here. We're right in the area, River Valley and into mm -hmm. central Arkansas. But here's the thing. You want to go, right? But the right. last thing you want is a cloud That's to come right. right in your way and block the sun and the moon doing their thing. So we made you a map to showing you state by state What's your chance of getting a cloud? The grayer states are going to be grayer. They have a better chance of being either overcast or even partly cloudy to the point where that one cloud sits in front of the moon. Remember how uh, I believe it was in Illinois when we had that 2017 uh, solar eclipse and a cloud came right over just in time for the eclipse to take place. And a lot of the national media was there because it was said that was going to be the best location. That's where you should go. So many people were there. Cloud got in the way. If you were 20 miles outside, you saw it. that cloud was off in the distance, but it was not right at the sun. Uh, but when you look at this path, the black line shows you the total eclipse. The red line shows you the maximum totality where there could be four minutes. You want to be as close to the center or near that red line as possible. But when you look at this map, Arkansas and Oklahoma, we've got a good 50-50 shot. That's pretty decent. Texas may be even better, but throughout the whole line, I'd say Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Texas would be your best place to see the solar eclipse. That's good news for us when you take a look at cloud data. Hey, we're going to take a look at the cloud forecast for the rest of this week. Let you know how we may warm up into the weekend. That's coming up, Joe. All right. Thanks so much, Matt.